This is Euler's theorem in geometry, where d is the is the distance between the in center and circumcenter of the triangle ABC, where the in center is the center of an inscribed circle over here, like this. And the and the circumcenter is the center of of this circle over here. Here, the capital R is the radius of the circumcenter, and and the lowercase r is the radius of the inscribed circle. Now let's prove it. There's three steps in doing this. First, which involves PowerPoint, which we learned before. We use these two lines, A, A, L, and P, Q. This means that A, L equals P, I times P, I, Q, which since we already know the value of pi which is d plus the capital r and let's and we could put that in and iq is equal to the lens of the capital r or and d we let's put that we can put that in so a i times i l is equal to r minus d times R plus D. Okay. Next, let's use something else. Isosceles triangles. In this he here, we need to find out. We need we need to prove that I L is equal to L B. Well, now well, let's look at this triangle B I L since it contains both sides. Since B and since this triangle, we had to prove that this triangle is isosceles triangle with these two equal. We also indirectly had to prove that angle I I B L over here is equal to angle I and B I L. So angle B I L over here we can solve really easily. This is because, mm, oops, sorry, ignore that. This is because we can look at the triangle right next to it, A, B, I. In this triangle over here, there are two angles that we already know, angle beta and alpha. Since these angles are just placeholders because we don't actually know the actual angle, but we do know that the BI and AI are angle bisectors. Moving on. Since this triangle, in this triangle, we know t these two angles, the, there is a formula that states that this angle is equal to the sum of these two angles. Because we, and so that means that BIL, angle BIL is equal to the sum of those angles, which is alpha plus beta. Now we just have to prove that angle IBL is equal to alpha plus beta. Well, since we already know that this angle is beta because, well, that's so, we just have to prove this angle over here is alpha, angle L LBC. Well, we can just, since this, this angle over here directly goes to this arc LC over here. But since this angle alpha over here goes directly to this too and is also an inscribed angle, this means that these two angles are the same. Which means that angle LBC is equal to alpha, yay, Ma meaning that the L, meaning that these two angles are the same and these two sides are the same as well. Next, we have to use similar triangles. More specifically, the similar triangles A, 
DI in triangle BML. Well, first of all, the reason that these two are similar is because a, AB, also with AD in it, is tangent to the circle I, making it so that it is perpendicular. Angle B, MBL is perpendicular since it go, since M, line ML is the diameter of circle O. Angle, angle BML over here is equal to alpha since this shares the same arc as, uh, as angle DAI, which is also alpha, meaning that these two triangles are similar. Whoops, you didn't see that. <laughs> okay, next. Now we can find, we can figure out the ratios. AI divided by, meaning that AI divided by ML is equal to ID divided by BL, <laughs> ID. Well, since we already know the values of ID, which is over here, and ML, which is over here. Wait, let's put that in. This meaning that makes it so that AI divided by M ML, which is 2R, is equal to, let's see, ID is equal to R, so divided by BL. Now let's move this down because I put it in the wrong place. And let's put, let's put equation, whoops, equation two into equation three. So let's write that. Um, okay. Two, whoops, two into three makes it so that. Well, since I in the equation 2, IL is equal to LB, so we can just replace it with that. So I, L, I, AI times, we're just going to cross multiply in this equation. AI times, whoopsie, it's going everywhere. AI times IL, because we replaced it, is equal to 2R, R. Yeah, that's weird. So now let's put equation one into this equation over here. One makes it so that two R R is equal to oops, didn't mean that is equal to R minus D times R plus D. So now we can we can scroll down and when we simplify this equation you can you're going to get r squared minus d squared is equal to 2r r and put d and square root both sides and move this to that side and you'll get d is equal to square root r times r minus 2r. There you go. And that's how you prove Euler's theorem in geometry.